Okay, we're going to do this question here. Um, it's a kind of a sigma notation question, but it's a little bit uh, different. It's a bit strange because what they put in for uh, the what normally are integers, they put in angles. Anyways, it says evaluate without using a calculator. Well, this is normally uh, you, you start with a certain number and then you end with another number and you put in consecutive integers. Well, they switched in here. It's kind of strange, but they made it degrees. That's all it is. When you see this summation sign, it means you start at 38 and you end at 52 and it goes up by one. Now, if you want to figure out how many um, terms there are in this summation, it's a trigonometric function, which is kind of weird, but you just have to just have to do it. Now, there's 52 minus 38. Um, that equals uh, uh, 52 minus 38 equals 14. And then you just add one. There are 15 different things that are added in here. There are 15 terms. Now, all you do, all you do is take 38 degrees and put it in instead of A. So the first term is the cosine of 38, cosine squared of 38 degrees. And then put in 39 and 40 and 50. The middle term has to be, uh, the middle term has to be 45 degrees. Uh, that's 38 plus 52 divided by 2. 45 degrees will be right in the middle. And that's worth um, thinking about. Well, you'd keep going and then you'd end at 52 degrees. Well, you definitely get a mark for being able to see um, that, that this is just a sum that you start at 38 and you go to 52. Now, the big trick here you have to recognize is something called a co-function. If you have the cosine of 38 degrees or the cosine of 52 degrees, you should um, be, a, uh, the co-function rule tells you that the cosine of 52 is exactly equal to the sine of 90 minus that angle. That's the cofunction. So it'll equal the sine of 38. Of the cosine of uh, 52 degrees is really the sine of 38 degrees. Why is that useful? Because the cos of 38 and the sine of 38, when we put them together, the cos of 38 and the sine of 38, cos squared plus sine squared is really equal to um equal to one. And that's what we keep going. We take this cos squared of 38, we put it with the cos squared of 52. And we take the cos squared of 39 and we put it with the cos squared of 51 with all of them and this cos squared of 45 in the middle. Well, the cos squared of 32 is, cos of 32 is really the same as the sine of 38. And sine squared plus cos squared is really just one. Well, there's 14 um, numbers here. That makes seven pairs. So there must be one plus one. So there's one plus one plus seven ones. And in the middle, we have the cosine squared of 45 degrees. If they said without a calculator, well, we better make a right triangle like this. And we better put in that one, one, and root two there. If you don't put the one and the one and the square root of two, then you might be in trouble with 45 degrees right there. So you got to write in um, 45 right there. Whenever you say without a calculator, you have to do that. Um, you have to put in, so there's your angle 45. And if you go one along and one up, one along, one up, and right here on this side, I don't have a nice function here, it's got to be the square root of two right there. The square root of 2 goes right there. So the cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2. Okay, so that's how you do that without a calculator. And the trick here is just seeing, hey, cos of 38, if I put it with the cos of 52, the cos of 52 is really the sine of 38. Cos squared plus sine squared is just 1, and you collect these 1s. It's a little bit of a trick, but that's how it works.